Speedway, dirt track racing, a sport that the gentle Viennese are wild about. On special motorcycles, with no brakes and no low gear, no gear shift at all, these riders risk their necks on the banks of turns, which are on the banks of the Blue Danube. Where do these daredevils come from? From everywhere. Here, a young lad looking for work and excitement asks a racer how to get into the game. Others answer newspaper ads put in by the Speedway Association, for there is always a shortage of riders, and we couldn't guess why. Young Hugh Meyer, accepted by the association, will first receive a thorough technical training. These bikes are very special. They burn alcohol instead of gasoline. With a 500 cubic centimeter cylinder volume, developing 48 horsepower, they last a very short time, even with the best of care. After the nuts and bolts period, the young apprentice goes to the practice track. He finds that with all that power driving the rear wheel, his steed will buck like a Brahma bull unless he holds the handlebars down like a cowboy dogging a steer. In dirt track racing, they mean dirt. Part of the fun is throwing mud in your opponent's face with your rear wheel. The riders wear a steel plate on the left boot on which to pivot around turns. Crash helmets are de rigueur, like a bride at a wedding, or whiskey at a wake. Getting started is like riding a unicycle. This lad's on the verge of tasting his first mouthful of dust. And over he goes. He's not hurt. That'll probably come later. The instructor gives another lecture. You have to ride those handlebars. Otherwise, you'll be bucked higher than Pecos Bill. The lad gives it another try. Out of 5,000 young men who answered an association ad once, only 62 got this far, and only about a dozen became regular riders. There he goes, and now he's doing all right. Now watch him. With no brakes and tremendous acceleration, the rule on turns, that left foot becomes a pivot and a brace to keep the cycle from getting away from him. Naturally, turns are always to the left. If anyone has a football, ski, or housemaid's knee, better stick to going over Niagara Falls in a barrel. It's Hugh Meyer's turn, and he gets some last-minute admonitions from the instructor. Ride those handlebars. Jab that left leg at the ground, and good luck, old chappie. There's a good career at stake in these trials. A good rider will make 10 times as much money as the average workman. Our boy looks like the real goods, a dirt track racer. Lots of work in racing tactics and strategy will prepare young Hugh Meyer for his racing career. He'll ride with a team which will try to gain points for win, place, and show. Besides cheers and the base pay for starting a race, there will be prize money for high point teams and riders. He's on his way. Vienna, city of music, with a special place in the hearts of the Western world, also loves the sputter and pop of a big speedway event. Competitors parade as they do in all sports events from rodeos to the Olympics.
Hugh Meyer gets his last big construction for his first race. Now everyone is tensed for the start. And with a roar of small alcohol-fed engines, they're off! Somewhere among those wheels, legs, and crash helmets, there's a scared young rider, probably seeing everything as just a crazy blur. Hugh didn't win that race. He's got a lot to learn, like this. It's not our boy. This rider's headed for the hospital, but he'll be all right, just badly shaken. His crash helmet made the big difference. Meanwhile, the race goes on. A team is short one rider, and they have to finish one, two, three to win. And that race is over. They're fairly short, two kilometers, and the speed averages about 90 miles per hour on straightaways, 60 on turns. How would you like to try riding on one foot at 60 miles per hour? Competition is often international. Teams from all over Europe roar and sputter on the sand and ash track. Yes, it's exciting to watch and thrilling.